the Borgo 3720 Independent Coulter Drill. Opener Adjustments and Settings. This presentation will provide valuable information on setting the independent Coulter drill opener to ensure the best possible seating results as well as extending the life of the opener components. Proper and regular maintenance will also minimize any issues that may occur during seating with an improperly set drill. Important: To prevent serious injury or death, do not go under the machine while the operator is in the tractor. Place stands or blocks under the frame and close the safety isolation valve on the hitch, if equipped, before working beneath the machine. Use only tools, jacks and hoists of sufficient capacity for the job. Refer to the operator's manual. Adjusting the seating depth. Seating depth changes are done by adjusting the position of the walking axle opener on the main body. There are 16 pin positions and each hole providing 1 quarter inch change of depth. Position 1 is the shallowest and 16 is the deepest. Place all openers in the raised position with no weight on the walking axle. Rotate the adjustment pin out of the holder and remove hairpin. Lift up on the handle to take weight off the adjustment pin. Remove the adjustment pin and maneuver handle up or down to the desired depth setting. Replace the adjustment pin and secure in the holder. Replace hairpin. Walking axle adjustment. The walking action of the opener assembly allows the packer and gauge wheel to act in tandem while setting the seed depth. The locked up position locks the gauge wheel slightly off the ground so all packing pressure and seed depth gauging is done by the packer wheel. Locking up the gauge wheel may be an option when seeding into pre-worked soil where the gauge wheel may bulldoze causing inconsistent seed depth. It may also be necessary in hard soil that requires very aggressive packing to close a seed furrow. The opener is currently in the walking position. To change from walking to locked position, remove rue clip and pin, move the guide from the outside to middle hole, Secure in place with pin and rue clip. Packer wheel adjustment. The packer wheel is factory set to center over the furrow created by the disc and scraper. There may be certain seating conditions where adjusting the packer position will improve the closure or packing of the furrow. To adjust the packer wheel placement, remove the nut securing the packer wheel hub spindle, change the number of spacers between the wheel hub and packer mount to adjust the position of the wheel relative to the furrow. Replace the packer wheel spindle assembly on the mount. Tighten the nut onto the spindle. Torque to 150 foot-pounds. Gauge wheel adjustment. The gauge wheel has a number of shims between the wheel hub and mounting arm to set the pressure of the gauge wheel to the disc. The pressure should be such that the disc will turn by hand yet feel some drag from the gauge wheel. In extremely wet sticky conditions, it may be necessary to set the gauge wheel more tightly if it is not cleaning the outside of the disc. To adjust the gauge wheel pressure against the coulter face, remove the bolt retaining the gauge wheel to the mount.
Select the amount of shims to move from the inside of the gauge wheel for proper setting. The default position is on the outside hole, or closest to the coulter disc axle. The inside mounting position may be required when the gauge wheel is in the locked up position and the disc is collecting soil on the face. Secure the gauge wheel back onto the mount. Check that the disc will turn by hand, yet feel some drag from the gauge wheel. Coulter Disc Replacement Replace the coulter disc when there is excessive wear and the disc is not performing properly. The recommended range for replacing the coulter disc is when the distance from the edge of the disc to the edge of the hub is approximately 5 inches, or when the coulter edge has rounded and is causing excessive hairpinning. Removal and installation of the coulter hub The coulter hub is secured with one nut. The hub spindle will be either a 3 quarter inch or 1 inch shaft. It is important to hold the hub assembly in place when removing or installing the spindle nut. Do not allow the spindle to turn in the pocket of the main body. Failure to do so could damage the spindle and the main body pocket of the opener. The spindle and body pocket are slotted to prevent turning after installation. Make sure the spindle is seated properly in the main body pocket of the opener when reinstalling the hub assembly. Replace the straw shield if equipped. Check that it is fitted onto the location tab correctly. Replace the scraper assembly onto the mount. Ensure the scraper is set at the correct location relative to the disc edge. Torque to 150 foot-pounds for a 3 quarter inch diameter spindle and 300 foot-pounds for a 1 inch diameter spindle. Scraper height adjustment. It is necessary to adjust the scraper height as the disc wears. Improper placement of the scraper to the disc edge will adversely affect seed placement, causing excessive plugging and excessive wear to the scraper. In order to adjust the scraper, loosen the main nut located on the scraper assembly. Move the scraper assembly up or down using the notches located on the side of the scraper assembly as a guide. Each notch represents a quarter inch of adjustment. Snug the scraper assembly and check that the height is set correctly. For a low disturbance scraper with a new disc, set the scraper one eighth of an inch up from the bevel edge. For a low disturbance scraper with a used disc, set the scraper three quarters to one inch from the edge of the disc. For a disc wing scraper on a new disc, Set the scraper 1 8 to 3 8 of an inch above the bevel edge. For a disc wing scraper on a used disc, set the scraper 1 to 1 and a quarter inches above the edge of the disc. Check that the scraper assembly is seated properly in the left and right notches. Once the height is correctly set, tighten the nut so that the scraper assembly is secure. Tighten to 120 foot-pounds. Scraper leading edge to disc face adjustment. It is necessary at times to check that the scraper is seated evenly to the coulter disc face. Wear, scraper adjustments and general operation may cause a scraper to move out of alignment to the disc face. Misalignment may allow straw and debris to catch between the scraper and disc, thus affecting the quality of the seating job. It is important to follow these steps when adjusting the scraper to the disc. Snug the top nut so the urethane scraper puck is compressed about 1 16th of an inch. Tighten the rear nut until the leading edge of the scraper is parallel to the disc face. Tighten the front nut until the full edge of the scraper is touching the edge of the disc.
It may be necessary to repeat steps 2 and 3 until the full length of the scraper's leading edge is touching the disc evenly. Turn the coulter one complete revolution to ensure proper adjustment. The disc should turn by hand with minimal drag. Bearing preset adjustment on coulter and packer hubs. It's recommended to check the coulter and packer hub seasonally for proper bearing preset. When the bearings are not properly set, premature wear of components and bearing failure may result. As well, improper preset of the coulter hub will lead to incorrect working angles which will affect seed placement. The best time to check preset is at the end of or prior to the beginning of the season of use before greasing the hubs. Apply pressure to the side of the disc or packer wheel to check if there is excessive play side to side. If excessive movement is found on the packer or coulter assembly, clean around the dust cap and remove. On the coulter hub, bend tang out of the castle nut. On the packer hub, remove the cotter key holding the castle nut. Tighten the castle nut until the hub becomes difficult to turn. Back off the castle nut just enough for the hub to spin freely. On the coulter hub, bend the tang back into the castle nut. On packer hubs, install the cotter key. Reinstall the dust cap and grease to the recommended amount. Greasing intervals. It is very important to grease every point on the coulter opener until you see grease emerging past the seal. Grease every 250 hours and at the beginning and end of seasonal use. There are four zerks located on the parallel arms, one on the walking pivot, one zerk on the packer hub, and one on the coulter hub. Always refer to your operator's manual for more information on these and other settings for your 3720 independent coulter drill.